What's come over our great land? America is still my home, sweet home. But where have all our heroes gone? I saw a group of boys the other day standing in the corner of a playground, looking and laughing at a magazine. And I overheard one of the boys say, man, is he ever cool. And he pointed to the man whose picture was on the magazine cover. And everybody kind of said under their breath, yeah, he's cool, all right. And I got sick to my stomach because I'd seen the cover. And the man that they were talking about had instigated a riot in one of our major cities last summer. And the magazine was writing about how the police were unkind to him. The judges were unfair with him and how he talked back and slung his long hair about and cussed and did his thing. And they made him into a regular hero. And inside this magazine was the story of the baseball player who got involved with the gamblers, of the football player who said that football was not the end, just a means to an end, meaning the girls and the good times. And a story of the folk singer who proudly claims to be both a member of a party alien to our government and a non-tax-paying citizen. These young boys read with open eyes and open minds. And I thought to myself, my God, are these the people that these young boys look up to? Are these their idols? Are these the heroes of the now generation? America is still my home, sweet home. But where? I had heroes when I was a kid, we all did. And our heroes did their thing too. Like General Douglas MacArthur who returned like he said he would. Like Gene Autry and Roy Rogers who chased the bad guys right off the screen. Like Lindbergh who flew the ocean. And Jesse Owens who showed Hitler. And John Wayne and Gary Cooper. After all, didn't they really win the war? And General Ike, bless your soul. Because you made us feel safe. We've killed some of our recent heroes, the Kennedys and Kings, and even as great as their space feats are, how many of the astronauts can you name? Huh? How many? My heroes were people like Joe DiMaggio, who proved that nice guys can finish first, and Stan Musial, who never had an unkind word for anybody, and Winston Churchill, whose two fingers raised together meant victory, not just to let your enemy have it all kind of artificial peace. This country needs a lot of things today, friends, but it doesn't need any one thing any more than it needs some real heroes. Men who know what it means to be looked up to by a grimy-faced kid. Men who want to sign autograph books and not deals under the table. Men who are willing to play the game with the people who made them heroes. Men who don't mind putting on a white hat and saying thank you and please. I wish I knew more men that I'd be proud for my son to look up to and say, Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be just like him. Life goes on, and this old world will keep on turning. Let's just be glad we had some time to spend together. There's no need to watch the bridges that we're burning. 
lay your head upon my pillow. Hold your warm, tender body close to mine. Hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing soft against the window, and make believe you love me just one more time. For the good times, I'll get along. You'll find another, and I'll be here if you should find you ever need me. Say a word about tomorrow or forever. There will be time enough for sadness when you leave me. Lay your head upon my pillow. Hold your warm, tender body close to mine. Listen. Hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing soft against the window. Tell me that you love me just one more time. Make believe for the good times. I loved you more in just a few hours than most people love in all of their years. And now, though you're gone, I still have you with me. The sweetest reflection. The loneliest tears, and I'll spend my life loving a memory, chasing a rainbow without any goal. I spend my nights dreaming about you. Loving a memory I never can hold. Oh, what a mark you left on my body, destroyed my heart. Crippled my mind, and if I should live until I'm one hundred, I'll never forget you. There's not enough time, and I'll spend my life loving a memory. Chasing a rainbow without any gold, I spend my nights 
dreaming about you Loving a memory I never can hold Loving a memory I never can hold Busted flat in Baton Rouge Heading for the trains Feeling nearly faded as my jeans Bobby thumbed the diesel down Just before it rained Took us all the way to New Orleans I took my harpoon out of my dirty red bandana And was blowing sad while Bobby sang the blues with those windshield wipers slapping time And Bobby clapping hands with mine We sang up every song that driver knew Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose Nothing ain't worth nothing but it's free Feeling good was easy, Lord, when Bobby sang the blues Feeling good was good enough for me Good enough for me and Bobby McGee From the coal mines of Kentucky To the California sun Bobby shared the secrets of my soul Standing right beside me, Lord Through everything I'd done Every night she kept me from the cold Then somewhere near Salinas, Lord I let her slip away Searching for the home I hope she'll find I'd trade all of my tomorrows For just one yesterday Holding Bobby's body close to mine Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose Nothing ain't worth nothing, but it's free Feeling good was easy, Lord, when Bobby sang the blues Feeling good was good enough for me Good enough for me and Bobby McGee La 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 me and Bobby McGee La 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 me and Bobby McGee La 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 me and Bobby McGee I remember how, once upon a time, before I could even phone you, I had to borrow a dime. I had nothing to give you, and still you said you'd be mine. Lord, those were the good years. A big night on the town for us used to be just two glasses of wine on our first anniversary. Oh, I know you could have had more, but you stuck by me. Those were the sweet years. But I wasn't happy, though you never complained. I wanted to give you more than just my name. I wanted to buy you not wine, but champagne. And then came the hard years. Cause I started working harder and longer than ever before. Just to buy you all the things that you never even asked me for. 
and I never noticed, but you changed more and more. Those were the sad years. But the price of success just kept going up. And even when I had it all, I didn't want to stop. For some reason, it became important to me to stay on the top. Those were the selfish years. And then I stopped one minute of my busy day. I felt like something was missing, and what I couldn't say. And then I realized that it was love that had died away. And then came the bad years. Before you take another step, there's something you should know about the years ahead and how they'll be. You'll be living in a world where roses hardly ever grow. Cause all I have to offer you is me There'll be no mansions waiting on the hill With crystal chandeliers And there'll be no fancy clothes for you to wear Everything I have is standing here in front of you to see. All I have to offer you is me. Sweetheart, I'll give you all my love in every way I can. But make sure that's what you want while you're still free. The only gold I have for you is in this wedding band. All I have to offer you is me. There'll be no mansions waiting on the hill with crystal chandeliers. And there'll be no fancy clothes for you to wear. Everything I have is standing here in front of you to see. All I have to offer you is me. All I have to offer you is me. about her no more seldom if ever does she cross my mind yesterday's gone Lord it's better forgotten like the poison red berries to die on the vine
This morning at dawn, I pulled into town. Had some coffee and talked with some old friends of mine. Laughing at all the good times they remember, and then I remember the time. See those bright lights back in Dallas. As yesterday moves like a dream through my mind, I really didn't suppose that I'd ever forget her. And you know. It took such a long time, but I don't think much about her no more. Seldom, if ever, does she cross my mind. Yesterday's gone. It's better forgotten. It's like a poison red berry that clings to the mind. Memories. In fact, I'm counting on the warmth of your love to live here in my heart forever, like a beautiful song. But I'm just afraid that if we don't say goodbye tonight and part as friends, we may never get the chance to. 'Cause from here, it can't go anywhere but wrong. We've pushed our luck to make it last as long as it has. You know that as well as I do. Nobody anywhere even has the slightest idea of what's been going on. But if we're not careful, the one thing that's looked so beautiful to us is going to look so ugly in the eyes of the world. I'm telling you, baby, it can't go anywhere but wrong. I want you to get out of the car. Come here and stand with me by the side of the road. Look out there in the distance for a minute. That's a mean old world out there, baby. And they don't understand people like me and you who just want to love and be left alone. I don't know where this old highway goes, but I'm going to turn around right now and start walking in the other direction by myself. 'Cause together, it can't go anywhere but wrong. So kiss my lips good night and head on home. It can't go anywhere but wrong.
We used to talk together, remember? And we used to do things, crazy things, I guess. Like just walking around looking in windows when we knew we couldn't buy anything. Not with the baby coming and all. And sometimes when it rained, you'd sit beside me and we'd race raindrops down the window pane. You'd bring me coffee. We'd work crossword puzzles together. We don't do anything together now. And late at night, remember we used to sit outside and we'd watch the clouds scurrying across the moon and the fishing trips. You never did like fishing, but you went anyway, and I loved you for it. And dreams, oh, I must have had a million of them. Big dreams and plans, and you used to look at me and you'd say, you'll make it, I know you will. And I believed it, because you believed it. You had faith in me, and you always gave me the strength that I needed. But now it's over. I used to look at your hair, and I used to hold you and kiss you. I used to. It was a stupid reason for an argument. We'd had a million of them before. But this time you just ran out. And when that phone rang and they told me, oh, I'd have given anything if it had been me instead. I'll be back tomorrow, honey. I'll bring more flowers. You always did like flowers. down a street in Denver I passed by a little dress shop A sign on the door read Melinda's And I asked myself if I should stop For I knew a girl named Melinda When I lived here years ago And I wondered if by chance it could be The Melinda I used to know So I peeked in through the window And there to my surprise I saw my darling Melinda And a tear came to my eyes For she looked lovely as always As I watched her standing there her face was like an angel's With a halo of golden hair Melinda, Melinda With the golden hair Oh, how I miss Melinda I slowly remembered how she suffered the shame of being left with the baby and me never changing her name. So I ran in and called out Melinda, so ashamed I hung down my head. But the young girl said, Sir, I'm sorry, but you see, my mother is dead Melinda, Melinda With the golden hair Oh, how I miss Melinda Oh, how I miss Melinda
friends are never earned. They're a gift from the loving God, and they're precious beyond human evaluation. You dare not take them for granted, or they'll drift away like smoke, and the warmth of their caring will vanish into the chill of the endless nights. Most of my friends are unknowns. They probably won't even rate an obituary, unless they live and die in a small town somewhere where nothing much ever happens. But a few of my friends are big people. They're famous, sensitive, talented, and their names are household words. And yet they're no more precious in God's eyes or in mine than those wonderful nobodies who live and die in obscurity. Who's your friend? He's someone who warms you with a nod or with an unspoken word in hard times when you're hurting beyond words. She's someone who holds you to her breast and sighs softly into your hair when no other medicine could possibly stop the pain. A friend is someone who clinks his glass against yours, or answers the phone at three in the morning when you're lost, and with a few words of encouragement and concern, makes you realize that you're not really lost at all. Friends come in both sexes, in all shapes and sizes. The most important thing they have in common is their ability to share with you your most sky-splitting joys, or your deepest, most awesome sorrows. Of all the things that I have in this world, I'm most grateful for my friends. <laughs>